Mitral regurgitation, or commonly called MR, is where the mitral valve, one of the valves in your heart chamber, has a problem that causes a leakage. So because of that, it causes congestion, your heart gets more dilated, swollen, and then you get more symptoms like shortness of breath, feeling tired, leg swelling. It can lead to heart failure if you leave it long enough and it's severe enough. This can lead to a, a mortality death. Mitral regurgitation, if you have any symptoms of heart failure, the doctor will do basic tests like ECG for your heart to see the valve and to see whether how severe. So if it's mild or moderate, we tend to leave it alone with medication and usually they do quite well with medications. However, those have got very severe MR. Despite on medical treatment, traditionally has been always been uh, open surgery, then you need to have either a mitral valve repair where they try and repair your existing valve. Mitroclate comes in in patients who are deemed possibly too high risk for open heart surgery. So because mitroclate, we go in through the leg and it will try to put in a mitroclate to address the leakage problem. So it's a minimally invasive procedure for patients who you know, had multiple surgery or due to the age, comorbidities, that they can't undergo open heart surgery. We will suggest and advise them uh, one of the treatment options is mitroclate. And there are good evidence now, even up to five years, um, to show that the, the device is durable, it reduces heart failure symptoms, reduces hospitalizations, and more importantly, also it reduces the mortality or death. Yeah, so the first case that we had, uh, this patient is from Indonesia. Um, so she had severe mitral regurgitation, she was symptomatic, she was deep high risk, and she also didn't, she refused surgery. She is looking at options for mitral clip or minimally invasive treatment for her mitral valve. So after discussion, and we decided that, okay, she might be a good candidate for a mitral clip. It was a good procedure. I remember I think it was done on a Thursday morning. So she flew from Indonesia on Wednesday. Of course, we assessed her about one month before going through the motion of addressing whether it's suitable. So usually a mitral clip takes about three to four hours. It's because um, we want to make sure that we have good results and a reduction of the leakage. So for her, there was two clips. She was in ICU uh, in the afternoon after procedure and in the evening she was you know, extubated as well. Um, and then I think she flew back to Indonesia on Sunday. So it was very fast, it was a very short stay. I would say a successful, clean procedure, no complications. She has returned back for her follow-up. She's doing very well. Um, so from that point of view, very happy with her treatment and her outcome. I think if you, the important is that mitral regurgitation or MR, it is um, common, probably undertreated. Selection is very important, very key. And when you select a proper patient who needed a mitral valve intervention, who are not suitable for surgery, um, the one that we've done so far, they've done very well. Uh, up to five years, they have shown persistent and constant good results over five years. So it's, very, it's a durable technology as well.